Hey guys, welcome to my channel. <laughs> welcome back to our channel, the reintro yeah. of the Heroes of Olympus. <laughs> Hi guys. Hi. We're here today. <laughs> I'm Kaylee. I'm Megan. And we are starting a podcast here on the Heroes of Olympus channel. We're calling it Retired Fangirls because we are retired. Not really. <laughs> um a little bit about ourselves you go first um okay I'm Megan again I live in New York City um and I work in marketing at um a super fun company that I don't think I'll disclose yeah, yeah. <laughs> um but yeah I'm here um what else are we gonna introduce this is I don't know what to say <laughs> I'm Kaylee I also work in social media marketing. I graduated from Boston University and I'm still here in Boston, but I'm from all over the place, mostly the Philippines and back and forth to Texas. Um, and now we're like 20 something year olds living it up. Yeah. I like met like when we were 13, 14 in yeah. high school, like online. So how this all started Ooh, this channel <laughs> this is how we met yeah, this channel is how we met so we were all like internet friends you can stalk the channel but we don't have much on there but we were the all internet, internet friends <laughs> and we were all percy jackson instagrammers <laughs> i don't know cosplayers whatever we were shit posting on there it was a good era I miss it every day, honestly. I miss that it. Was... Everyone was active. Like the Heroes of Olympus books were coming out. Like we were on that. So then I had an idea. I was like, let's do a YouTube channel. Let's LARP, <laughs> basically. <laughs> and then I just texted like a bunch of randos. I was like, I'm getting the entire Heroes of Olympus together. When you DM'd me, I was like, surely this is a scam. And I oh. like went to my parents and they were like, uh, like why do you want to be on YouTube I was like I don't know it seems like fun oh, and then yeah. <laughs> I was just like nervous I was like is she actually gonna like is this real is she DMing me and That's then so he put funny. us all in the group chat and I saw like Meg and Taya um I don't know if Connor Strain was in at that point Connor he was, was later <laughs> <laughs> yeah it was a whole big group so that's mm -hmm. kind of the lore of how we came to be basically I just dm'd a bunch of people and I made a group chat and there were like people that came in and out but basically we just made this youtube channel and we posted little like skits in character also out of character and that's how that's the lore and then we like went on inactive because we grew up but yeah, it was fun <laughs> I don't know if we can do this anymore. it was like a lot of work yeah it was too much for a child um but no yeah it was a good time so that's where we are we still talk some of us have met in real life for example me and Ansley we like worked at Camp Hopwood for like several years together so we weren't even internet friends anymore at that point mm -hmm. um but yeah, that's our friendship origin story. We can insert old photos too. You so know. the picture from us. So Megan just visited me last June in Boston. And we went strawberry picking together in our Camp Outlet shirts. So that's where our logo is from. <laughs> yeah, fun lore. <laughs> yeah, fun little detail there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the origin story. Are we missing anything? I don't think so. It's like a pretty simple story. It's just yeah. like silly. It's silly. Oh, mm -hmm. I played Drew Tanaka and uh, Megan played Piper McLean. They were both oh, nice. Aphrodite. Um, so we were sisters from the start. Yeah. If we had godly parents, I think we both would be daughters of Aphrodite. Oh, so. for sure. In case y'all don't know, I'm the Aphrodite cabin counselor at Camp Hot Blood, but my year is over. So I can't, I'm not working there anymore, but maybe my brother will. <laughs> <laughs> when did you start reading Percy Jackson like when did you get into those books good question so I did not hear of Percy Jackson at all like I had no idea what it was until the movie came out so I am one of those people I no. was well I was living in the Philippines at the time okay, so like, okay yeah so I was in a like school bus we were like going on some field trip or whatever and I saw the Percy Jackson billboard like for the movie and I was like 
what the heck is that? I see that everywhere. It's, it looks so bad, like whatever. And then my friend had like a birthday party and we all like went to go see it. Life changed. <laughs> I was like, that man right there, that's the love of my life. So when you read Percy Jackson, you pictured Logan Lerman the whole time? Yeah. Oh my God. I know. Isn't that wild? Yeah. That is so different. Yeah. So that was like in my head. And then I like read all the books and then like perfect timing somehow. I think right when I finished them, the Heroes of Olympus was like announced and I was like, yay, more for me. (laughs) And I was like, just so obsessed. Like I made all my friends like pretend we were in Percy Jackson, like in real life. And then, so that was in the Philippines. I was, that was like my entirety of middle school. I was just like on Tumblr, on Percy Jackson's Tumblr 24-7. That's a Viria art, I'm guessing. Hmm? That's a Viria art. Oh yeah. So much Viria art. That was a moment. I was like editing stuff on Photoshop, like teaching myself how to do all this like graphic design, the HTML coding. Like I can't do that now. But yeah, that was wild. So that was like my era. And then I moved back to Texas. And then that's when I started my Percy Jackson Instagram. And this all began. What about you? Um, My older sister read the first one when she was younger and made like a book report about it. Um, And I was like, "Mm, that seems cool. I want to read it. She never read any of the other books. (laughs) Um, So I picked up that uh, first book at my school library. Um, And I remember I was like walking back and forth across these steps when I was reading it and I was like oh my god am I a half-blood like do I feel something stirring inside I was like eight mind you I was so little your baby yeah so I read them all um I think when I started was like right when Battle of the Labyrinth um came out and I got the first edition like hardcover copy of The Last Olympian um and then just kept up as Here's of Olympus came out. Um, I wasn't as deep into Tumblr, but my little brother had like fan accounts on Instagram for things that he was really into. And Mm -hmm. he taught me how to edit on like Pixart, I think was the app. (laughs) Yeah. So I had an Instagram account where I made edits um, and it did not take off. And then one of my friends at the time had an Instagram account for edits for like Disney and Taylor Swift. Like she was really that um so we would just giggle and do all of that together and then I made a friend who wanted to start a role play account do you remember when those were things oh my god I was so into Percy Jackson role playing you have no idea I'll get into that after (laughs) yeah so I had a Piper role play account um it was all on Instagram yes it's still up but I can't like get into it I don't know what the password is I don't have the recovery email it's just like there she's permanently offline (laughs) um so there was like that and then the people that I role played with they were like well what if we started cosplaying like have you ever heard of that um so I made a shirt and then I made the Piper account and for some reason it just took off that like, is so I, cute. I could replicate it. it just like did that is so cute I was into when I was on the Tumblr era I was really into like finding role plays because I loved like writing so I would like do these role-playing things I was obsessed like every time someone would reply would reply to me like in character I'd be, <laughs> I have to reply back with like this specific gift that I had as the face claim person not the face so, claims I know oh my god so one of my face claims was he was a son of, it was an original character he was a son of Nynx his name was like <laughs> Jake Fry or something like that and his face claim was Andrew Garfield. And like, I loved that man. You were catfishing so I hard. was. And like, the love interest <laughs> was like this girl who had a face claim as Brenda's song. So it was like perfect. We had all the gifts and stuff. Oh my gosh. That was, that was so funny. Yeah, no. I don't talk to them anymore. And then I got into cosplaying, probably just like finding someone like you on Instagram or something because I didn't get on Instagram. We saw like that damn Annabeth, that damn Piper and we were like wow. Yes oh my god I was obsessed with Kinsale. I was like she has the best photos ever. She's like the best cosplayer. That's how I felt about Shelby. She was so iconic. They were both iconic and then when they had a meetup I was like OMG. Yeah that was an iconic moment. So then I was like 
I want to be that damn Drew. And I literally <laughs> remember I DM'd Ken Sale and I was like, can I please ha- be um in that damn family? Like, I want to be that damn Drew. Please like, let me like change my name. And she was like, oh, we're not like a thing. Like you can change your username. I was like, oh, so that's how it came to be. Oh, that damn Percy. Are we going to talk about Jow? Oh, we're and- going to talk yeah. about it because all the good Percy Jackson cosplayers post their photos and then they dip they're gone they they're just, just like, leave and they're all over pinterest all yes. over Tumblr, and then everyone knows yeah. that one photo of Jao in the ocean with the sword yeah. there are some good tiktok people that are like very they have nice visuals like cinematography and they mm-hmm. do like Percy Jackson and stuff have I'll you heard that you. audio that it's like the Athena one it always makes me think of Percy Jackson Oh, I don't know. Maybe. I probably have. I'll find it. Insert here. Insert. Hey, people <laughs> were talking about. <laughs> yeah, that was a moment. Yeah, so we were on Instagram, like, all of high school. And then college, I kind of just forgot about it. I was busy. And then pandemic happened. <laughs> yeah. Back to healing our inner ch- children, so... Well, also, he announced that they're making a show. And I think that that, like, was such a game changer. Because I'm rereading all the books because I need to be prepared for the show. Yes, that is true. I should reread the books. I need to do that. I'm very excited for the show, though. I'm sad we're not a part of it. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, calling, hello, can you put us on? Why don't you just call Taylor up? <laughs> like, <laughs> on the phone with Rick, who isn't even on. Um, I swear to God, I saw Rick Riordan, like in october because he lives in boston okay he first of all boston? I thought he lived in in for some is following me he's like from texas he's from okay like, that's what i thought yeah like san antonio he moved to boston like a little bit after i did i swear to god i saw that man on the charles river esplanade let me know if you have a dog actually i think it was him because i stalked his instagram and he has a dog and he, the guy was with the dog isn't he in toronto because they're just repped filming oh probably no but this was like a few months ago oh but yeah. And he definitely would have been in Toronto, wouldn't he? Or maybe they could come home. I don't know. I forget that you can come home. And yeah, Toronto's not that far from Boston, mm-hmm. I guess. No, it's like an hour flight from New York, so I can't a imagine. Very it's short flight. Okay, yeah. well, maybe it was him. I'm going to say it was. Um, But I mean, I'm like two degrees away from him. One degree, because our camp director at Camp Half Blood is, you know, works very closely with him. So Come on well, down. If they take us to the premiere, I will make a Camp Half Blood red carpet dress. Imagine. We I'm... need to have the looks if we go to the premiere. <laughs> we are not going, but like, oh, wouldn't it be so fun to dream? <laughs> I wonder if they would just do it like in LA or if they're doing multiple locations. Everything's in LA and it's so annoying. I don't know. Because also how... How big do you think this show is going to be? Like, obviously, it's huge for me and you and, like, our friends. But is Disney, like, putting a lot into this? Do they think that it's going to be the show of the summer or whatever? I feel like Disney is so hit or miss with their stuff. Like, remember that movie that just came out, Strange World? I didn't watch it. Exactly. No one watched it because there was no marketing for it. It was out in theaters. That is so good. Yeah, and the cast is, like, it's Jake Gyllenhaal. It's, like, all these, like, big Jake Gyllenhaal. But they, like, never did marketing for it. So, I'm, like... Is that the one that has, like, really good queer representation? Yeah. That is not... That's probably why. (laughs) But, (laughs) yeah, I'll have to watch that. Speaking of TV shows, what are your current reads slash slash watches slash Um, music? (laughs) well music two of my favorite artists just released new stuff on friday Maisie peters and quinn 92 so that mm-hmm. was fun and exciting um and i'm watching the last of us with the rest of the world right same now. yes it's so good did you watch last night's episode i didn't because like my friends were over but i will be watching it today <laughs> it's not scary so don't like you don't have to like prepare yourself or watch it during the daylight it's just excellent Pedro Pascal is literally my top, one of my top three actors. So I like. I am eating that shit. Up. I need you to be prepared. He is not really in this episode. Oh, it's okay. This it's is a Ron okay. Swanson episode. It's okay. He's That's so fine. good. That's fine. I'm here for it. 
I like I heard the game is really good. I'm not a gamer girl, but everyone I, know play. I play Animal Crossing in Stardew Valley and that's it. Yeah. Are you playing anything else right now? Animal Crossing Stardew Valley. It's it. But I'm reading <laughs> <laughs> Island by Aldous Huxley. That is the book that I'm reading right now. Mm-hmm. I'm watching The Last of Us also. I'm also just finished watching Barry. It's also on HBO Max. It has Bill Hader in it. Mm-hmm. And one of my like best friends here. She also makes content insert here. Her name's Cassie. Um, she's like <laughs> obsessed with Bill Hader. So she's like, you gotta watch Barry. It's like this dark comedy. I, I don't know if you've heard of it. I've, I've heard of it. I haven't watched it, but didn't it win a couple Emmys or it was at least nominated? It was like nominated, but the bear like kind of took over there. Uh, which the bear is very good. Is it? Okay. It's very good. I really like that show. It's the same guy as Lip and Shameless. Did you watch Shameless? Watch Shameless either. They're all these shows that I like need to watch, but I'm they're just all like, very yes. Yeah, they're all good. <laughs> I'm just on an island. <laughs> it's okay. It takes a lot of time. Yeah. Um, TV shows are so much different than movies. Movies, 90 yeah. minutes in and out. Right. It's a whole commitment. Did you see The Way of Water? Yeah, sadly. <laughs> no, why did you go say I hate that? Avatar. Was it good? It, okay, my thing with Avatar, obviously it's like the visuals are great. Yeah. The story is not original and it's just, white well, people the first one was pocahontas the, that's what i'm saying it's literally just a blue people pocahontas mm-hmm. like i would like it so much more if it wasn't so white people colonizing like that's literally it and it's okay. so, I love, you know a white savior movie did you hear that the next one is about fire i know i'm like well, <laughs> i can't atlas should sue at this point like the last airbender should ask why they're just ripping their world do it yeah, I did watch the second one in theaters and it was three hours long and it wasn't boring. I just hate the story. Like, I hate what they do with it. It could be so beautiful. And then it's all played by white people. Like, literally, the Polynesian queen is like Kate Winslet. Like, <laughs> why is she that? Um, but yeah, the potential that just- is completely lost. Yeah. It frustrates me, but Avatar fans scare me, so don't come for me. Sorry. Are there Avatar fans? You either like don't like Avatar, or you're like, like I saw a man ta- it's tattooed on his body. He I is never met someone who could name a character in that movie. No, people love Avatar. They're like quiet about it, but they love it. They should keep quiet about it. I that would be my advice. Like some of my friends, I'm like I'm kind of scared to say it around them. I'm like, what do you think? Are we putting hashtag avatar the way of water on this video so they can find it easier? Hashtag Jake Sully. Hashtag avatar the way of water. <laughs> hashtag blue people avatar. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's all I'm going to say about that. Um, <laughs> anyways, speaking of movies still, um, I'm also going through the Oscar list. So I've watched some of them. I watched I Women Talking last night. It seems so, like, depressing to me. And it's just, like, not the taste of movie that I watch. Like, really? this, so, for the movie of the summer, for opening weekend, are you going to watch Oppenheimer or Barbie? Both. I'm watching just Barbie. I can't Oh, my gosh! <laughs> what? It's about, it's about the nuclear bomb. But it's Christopher Nolan. That means nothing to me. But Florence Pugh is in that one, so I should <laughs> watch it for her. She's in everything. I love her. Did you love her in Don't Worry, Darling? I did, actually. And she was great. The movie was terrible. I was, like, not... Okay, I'm, like, not a Harry Styles fan. Whatever. I'm not either. That is also heresy. We have to keep that quiet. Yeah, sorry. I mean, okay. He somehow ended up on my Spotify wrapped, though. Anyway. I blocked him on Spotify. <laughs> I just liked his I liked his new album. That was it. I'm not a, I'm not like a Harry die. I don't care anyways. So I thought the movie was going to be trash, but like I watched it and I was like, "Oh, it's fine." I mean, Florence Pugh's carrying. Yeah, her back yeah. hurts from carrying that movie. Yeah. Um the Oscars snubbed all of the horror movies including that one though, for sure. Like I watched Nope. Nope is very good. Don't they always snub the horror movies? Jordan Peele needs more recognition for what he's doing. I know. I know. 
yeah so it makes me mad um but i haven't seen like there's two movies that are nominated for everything did that get nominated for best picture or just um i think just brendan fraser i actually have the list up right now the whale uh so actress in a supporting role for the lady in the whale and then i need to see her styling i need to see everything everywhere all at once that's my favorite movie of all time i know i need to see it but (laughs) i like keep looking to see if it's on streaming or if i just like need to bite the bullet and buy it digitally and i'll probably just buy it digitally next month they just re-released it in theaters really yeah that's exciting for them but yes i've seen that movie so many times literally my favorite movie when you watch it or i'll I'll watch it again with you like we will we will talk about it okay i'll let you know yeah it just hits very close to home for me i know it's not real as relatable to other people but it's like for me that's my heart is it like the culture that it's from because is it like filipino no it's um chinese okay chinese american and then it's just like it just does a beautiful job of like showing generational trauma and then there's also oh, it's another one of those it's a turning yeah. Content. yeah but it's okay, like it's so just gonna destroy me it is i cry and i don't cry ever i cry, I cry all the time i cry daily oh i don't so like this means something <laughs> yeah it does, it does a great job with that and then also like she's queer so like it's kind of like the older generation accepting that and then just like mental illness in general and like divorce just it's it's very good the I only think, thing I know is sucked into a bagel yeah that's it it will all make sense I can't wait yes literally my favorite any last minute things last minute things are high um if you know me in real life if you bring this up in person, I will gaslight you to high heaven about it. So don't. Don't be embarrassed. Me. Don't be embarrassed. <laughs> I'm not embarrassed. They're just going to be annoying about it. So. Oh, really? I'll, yeah. I'll gaslight Gatekeep Girl Boss. Um, I'm surprised that's not like you. It's not like me at all. I know. I never hid Piper from anyone. Everyone in our friend group literally blocked everyone else in the world from seeing our account. And Megan was the only one who was super proud to be a percy jackson cosplayer <laughs> youtuber people would like make fun of me about it and then the account started taking off and they were like can you post a pic with me on the piper account they and didn't. I- <laughs> stop did they make fun of you like irl or was it just like secret? um so they did but i didn't realize they were making fun of me until um i started watching tiktoks of people are like how girls bully each other i thought they were being nice to me but they were actually just like making fun of me oh, like what were they saying they'd be like wow look at this account like so cool like you really like percy jackson huh no like, yeah i do it's really <laughs> oh, <funny. Megan. laughs> yeah. i do i like it <laughs> yeah oh, just God. like unapologetically like I love this shit. Like, what are you going to do? Like, it? Yeah. Yeah. I was so scared. That was like my nightmare that someone was going to find it from school. But I'm like, no one cares. Like, no one was looking at me like that. Like, <laughs> just stupid. We are going to attempt to keep this podcast going bi weekly. Hopefully. Don't come for us if it's not bi weekly. We're going to try, though. Meaning every other week, not twice a week. Yes. Oh, yes. That is bi month. Why do I keep saying bi-weekly? I've been saying bi-weekly this whole time. No, bi-weekly bi- oh, yeah. means two things. It's the <laughs> same word we've ever had. Oh my God, I didn't even realize that. I'm like, yeah. Um, yes, every other week we are going to attempt a little chat. Period. I can subscribe and turn on the notifications. <laughs> yes, to ring that bell. And we're also on Instagram and TikTok if we like our channel. I mean, our channels are like kind of all over the place but we'll clean it up we'll make it look yeah. cute follow us everywhere You'll yeah get updates. what is our our current social media is on instagram we are the at the, the great us. us yeah on tiktok we're at secret project squad which is really more of a spam tiktok but we'll make it fun it's a spam uh, tiktok for me only no one else posts on it i used to and then i just like logged out of it and i forgot about it forever <laughs> i'll get back on it 
I'll I just like our podcast clips. I'm like, oh yeah, this exists. And then I find filters and then I post pictures. I know. I'm always like, oh, I'll do like the which godly parent or whatever filter there is. I'm like, I'll do that on the other account. And then I forget. That's it. Thanks for hanging out with us. We will be back. Hopefully. I think this went well. I think so. I hope so. I hope I was recording this whole time. Let me double check. And that's a wrap. <laughs>